Well, that is all he will be doing tonight is advising. Yeah, if he gets involved physically in any way, he's out of a job. That's a great point. That's a great point, man. One fall to a finish to end this series. And it has been one of the most epic and brutal series in the history of professional wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you call it. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be a good old fashioned fight. Oh, and if you can get as technical as anybody, but right now it's all about revenge. These two just taking each other to places they've never been before, Adrian. Oh. Big oh. slide over the top right there by the mysterious Q. He's close to us right now, man. They can be on the outside. They can fight in any piece, any part of the Clear Lake Sports Complex tonight. It does not matter. There are no count outs. There are no disqualifications. The referee is just there for aesthetics. He's just there for looks. Count the pinfall and that's it. Davidson, reversal, oh! set it in the steps right there. And you talk about the concussion problems that Q has had. He, he landed on his head. He landed on his head indeed, but also an inconceivable hit pointer on steel. Flesh on steel right there. And you bring up a great point. What does that head injury have in this matchup? What factor will it play, if any at all? And Davis is smelling blood like a shark He's in the water. He's got that chair right there and tried to put an end to it. We gotta watch out, we better watch out. There's only one way for this thing to end, Adrian. One of these two is going to tear the other apart. Yeah, that, that's it. That, that, they're on a collision course. It's not about pride anymore. It's about survival. The F-16 of professional wrestling, as you've called it before. Yeah. The mysterious Q going to the top, trying oh. to fly. But that's why they call it high risk. Yep. High risk, high reward, and Davidson. Oh, maybe a Q cutter from the top right here. Oh. Shades of his own maneuver. Cover. It could be over. A two count. You got some great points. And right now, Davidson knows that the mysterious Q, his head is banged up. He knows that the elevator's not going all the way to the top right now. He knows that he suffered concussions. And you got to respect him. He's trying to end it. Look, all the attacks are right on the Q's head. Every attack is focused on the Q's head. Goes back to the cover here. Thinks he has him this time, too. And a kick out. You know, you talk about respect, Adrian Jones, and I have to ask you this question. It's clear there's a deep-seated hatred between these two competitors, but have either of them Gain respect for the other over the course of this series. I mean, you have to, and if either, either person says that they didn't, they'd be lying to you because they've taken each other to the max and beyond. So there's got to be some type of respect. You may not like the guy, but you got to respect the guy. That's what what's, what's Davidson doing. Extreme Rules plays right oh. into his hands. No one in the reality of wrestling has gotten more extreme over the course of the last few years than Ruthless Ryan Davidson, hence the name Ruthless. Yes. Great point, great point. The chairman of, of the row. Q, reversal, Irish whip off the rope. Drives that knee head first, now he's got that chair. Oh. Chair to the gut. Oh! That is steel on spine! And look at Davidson's face, just wrestling in the punishment. Look at Stevie and Ray. And again! And again! And Stevie Ray loving every minute of it. This is what Davidson wanted all along. And you, every time you, you look, every few minutes he... Cover here! He's got it! He holds, no. he holds that head. He holds his head. I'm telling you, man, something's not right upstairs, man. The accumulation of damage over the course of this series definitely playing its part right now. 
We know that the Row Nation voted for this to be the stipulation of the match tonight, but look at how it is playing into the hands of Brian Davidson. Yeah, hell, they don't have to be in here. Of course they're gonna vote for it. These fans, they don't have to come in the middle of the ring and deal with this, deal with a concussion and getting slammed in the head with a steel chair. But you're right, we give them what they want. It's a hell of a contest. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! That's Cover him. here! Two! Oh, he oh. almost had him! Holy Toledo! So close! So close! I love it, I love it. Truer words have never been spoken. Hey, you look at that, look at Davidson's eyes. Oh, what is he going oh, for? He's going, oh. for the, he's going for the hardware. Gives new meaning to the phrase climbing the ladder in reality of wrestling. Two, two. Ryan Davidson getting incredibly ruthless right now. Q with a drop kick though. Awesome reversal. You look at Davidson, Davidson's hurting. Blistering action back and forth between these two, Adrian. What is it going to take for one of these two athletes, these warriors here tonight at the squared circle to get the victory? You have to have a winner tonight. Cover from Q here. He could have him. Two. Almost, almost. Davis is trying to shake the cobwebs loose. You know, you know Stevie Ray's got to be seething in that Man. corner. There's nothing that he can do in this matchup other than coach and advise. You called it and you see him. You see him in the corner. He's frustrated. He cannot interject himself physically into this matchup. And now a chair here from Q. Big knife edge chop. This is certainly ruthless Ryan Davidson's house right now. This is his backyard. He loves it in there. He may not love this though. What comes next? Oh, oh and Q's gonna fly. Oh, caught the leg right there. Caught the leg. Oh my goodness, what a devastating elbow to the face. Q, Q playing to the crowd, but. Davidson picked it up. He doesn't know where he is right now. He's hurt. He is in no man's land, Adrian. The series is taking so much. Oh, and Q, an innovative maneuver right there, driving the steel right into Ryan Davidson's face. That's the 713281832 right there. Davidson on his feet, but on spaghetti legs at the same time, just holding himself up by that rope. He's fighting on pure instinct. Cover Roll here. Up. Roll up, no. Rolls through. Davidson into the ropes. It won't help him in this. There's a German suplex. Back. He got him too. No. Beautiful belly back suplex. Matt, you're right, this is one of the best matches we've seen on the road. This is nationwide, everyone's getting to see it. It looks like a car wreck in there right now. And the mysterious Q looks like he's going to use that ladder to his advantage. Q. What's, what's Stephen Ray up to? Wait a minute, Q. What's Q doing what's, here? Stephen Ray has got something to do with this, I'm telling you. I don't know what's happening. Oh, oh the German oh. suplex into the ladder. We've lost the lights in here, Adrian. I'm telling you, Stevie Ray is still is up to this. I don't know what's going on right now. But Q is on the top. Q. Oh, 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 they they oh. on the top. Yes, he got him. Yes, he got him. Yes, he got him. Have gone out! A testament to the power!
Here's the your mysterious winner, winner. The Mysterious Q. I'm telling you, Stevie Ray, it's got, this has got his fingerprints all over it. But to no avail, to no avail, the Mysterious Q triumphs. Despite Stevie Ray's efforts with the lighting, one of the most awe-inspiring feats of courage and athleticism you will ever witness, the Mysterious Q has won the series. We go back and take a look at this replay. My goodness. A 455 splash from the heavens. Put some mustard on it. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most shocking and incredible finishes to a main event. For the reality of wrestling, I'm Matt Topolsky along with Adrian Jones. We'll see you next week. is the Diamonds Battle Royal to crown the first ever Diamonds Division Champion. Introducing, from Houston, Texas, Miranda! Well, this is a very intriguing situation, Rich. It would appear that Miranda and Cinema have made some sort of pact for this Battle Royal here tonight, and Miranda coming out on her own, and Cinema, and conspicuous by her absence, I believe we'll see her next. We mentioned this a little bit earlier. I know Cinema. I know Miranda. I do not trust either one of them. A pact? You gotta be kidding me. Somebody's playing somebody. Let's see who And is. her opponent, from Hollywood, California, Cinema! There she is, the star of stage and screen, gracing us with her presence here tonight at Humble. You know, Cinema has said in the past that she is the diamond of the diamonds division and everyone else is just rough. Just rough. Can you blame her? Look at her. She is very, very impressive. There's no question about that. It is hard to argue. We will see whether or not this pact will hold up between Miranda and Cinema. And as you can see, the battle lines have been drawn within the squared circle. Well, I think it's pretty clear that Cinema knew she had to try to align herself with somebody. This 10 diamond battle royal. And, and they're charging in one at a time. And Cinema. Oh, no. It may be a short night. This is smart. This is smart. You're going to take out the top diamond. Now You're look going at to this. take out the top diamond. Is the pact breaking down already? It's just been a few moments. Told you. I knew it. You want to do it. There is no way that anybody is going to team up with Cinema. The way that she has treated everybody. Uh oh, look oh, out. She's going over the top. It's over right here. Cinema's night is over. Well, hang on, wait a minute, on. hold on, look at here comes Miranda pulling everybody off. Maybe there is some kind of friendship there. Well, I don't know whether I would advise that or not. A unique strategy nevertheless. And we talk about how this Diamonds Battle Royal came about. At Comic Palooza, the Diamonds brawled backstage. We just saw it. All arguing over which one deserved to have their own locker room. Clearly, both Cinema and Strike believe they deserve to have their own. And it was the last straw for General Manager Charmel. She made this battle royal here tonight. But she's incentivizing the winner with the Diamonds Division Championship. This 10 Diamond over the top row battle royal. The first ever Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Champion will be crowned tonight. And you can hear Charmel. Oh, oh look, look how young. 
about to send Quinn over the top. Oh, look at the athleticism by Quinn. Oh, look and at the Cinema split. Look out. eliminates Hai Young. And Cinema eliminates Quinn. Quinn was able to hang on momentarily, but look out, Cinema. Natasha from behind. Cinema too worried about posing for the cameras. Natasha ahead of steam. Look at the power of Cinema. Look at the power. Oh, she oh. has her out of the ring. My God. Cinema not impressed. Well, I'm impressed by Cinema. And now Cinema and Strike going at it. We know the bad blood that exists between the two of them. A high intensity, high stakes battle royale for the Diamonds Division oh. Championship. Look at that snap power slam right there. Marissa showing her power and athleticism. I've seen her work out at the gym at WXF. She is more powerful than some of the reality of wrestling stars, some of the guys. And she now, is extremely strong and extremely gifted. And now Marissa and climbing she's mean. that top rope. What does she have in store? I don't know if this is smart. There's five diamonds, what they all go down? She took them all out, Rich. But look out, Cinema back to her feet again, showboating. Showboating this time. Trying to eliminate her from behind, there she goes. Cinema dumping every single competitor unceremoniously over the top rope. Marissa taking too much time to try to shine for the camera. And Robin dumped to the outside. The field dwindling here. Five competitors left. And strange bedfellows right now with Rena and Raquel working together. And you know this battle royal means the world to Reyna and Team International. If she were to capture this title, she would be the only member of Team International with a championship right now. Team International has certainly fallen on hard times. Reyna has seemingly taken the reins of Team International. Excuse the bad pun, but I'll tell you what, if she can capture the gold here tonight. Oh, oh look at that springboard. Nice recovery by Reyna. And that shows you how strong she is in the ring. She tried to connect with a clothesline, but it was a devastating headbutt instead. And Raquel may be moments away from seeing her demise. Strike from behind. Oh! Oh, and Strike connects with a boot. Interesting that Strike, oh, look out. That Strike would essentially save Raquel in this match. They have had a lot of bad blood between them. And I believe we've had another elimination, Rich. We're down to four, the final four in the Diamonds Battle Royal. Who will it be? Will it be Raquel? Will it be Princess Miranda? Will it be Cinema? Will it be Strike? There are no friendships, there are no packs. None of that matters oh, right now. It Raquel. is every diamond for herself. But look at this, Rich. The pact is happening. It's happening. They are working together. They yeah, saved each it, other it, from elimination. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They may be working together right now, but I'll tell you what, if it comes down to the two of them, I guarantee you that pact oh, doesn't mean anything. Top, a double clothesline there. And I believe we have a two-on-one scenario. Things not boding well for strike. And now they are working together like a cohesive unit. Rich, at what point would this break down? It's gonna break down if Strike is eliminated. That's when it's gonna break down. It's a battle royal. It's everybody for themselves. Friendships do not matter. Look, it's if, Strike if you, fighting if you, back. If you're putting your trust in somebody else in a battle royal, I got a bridge to sell you. Well, that's certainly not one I'd like to cross. Look at Strike right now. Oh, oh what a huge clothesline right there. From Cinema, what power? Damn near took her head off. Oh. Miranda and Cinema, what a dangerous tandem we have here. These three ladies know what is on the line. The diamond encrusted reality of wrestling, Diamonds Championship. Well, oh, that friendship. The pact, if you will, holding strong right now between Miranda and Cinema. I'm telling you though, it will not last. It will not last. Well, you've got to wonder how this will affect the outcome of the match though. If it leaves the two of them, they're both fresh. They've been helping each other the entire Battle Royal. This may go on all night. Oh, look out. Oh, strike. Oh! And Miranda eliminated. It's down to strike and Cinema. 
One of these two ladies will be the first ever reality of wrestling. She Diamond connected champion. flush. And she connects flush again. Will Strike sees her moment in the sun. Here she goes. Goes for that sliding drop kick, but she falls under the bottom rope. Oh my goodness. What vicious elbows. No love lost between these two. The hatred has brewed between Strike and Cinema for months. Their fight fueled the brawl at Comic Palooza, which led to this battle royal tonight. This is not a spot that either lady wants to be. On the outside of the ropes. Very dangerous predicament. Now both of them went under the ropes. So I don't believe an elimination would, uh, could happen here. You have to go over the top rope. Either way, they're back in the ring now. And an exhausting process for both of these competitors. Laying it all on the line here tonight, Rich. The Diamonds Division Championship hanging in the balance. And look at this tilt-a-world side slam, a signature of cinemas. <laughs> Months ago on this very program, Cinema pulled that very maneuver off on the awesome Kong. And now the power here, she may put strike over the top rope. The next Diamonds Division champion is coming. But strike hanging on for dear life. Whoa! Connect with those double knees to the face. Strike ahead of steam, but Cinema sends her over the top. There's your Diamonds winner and the Diamonds Division Champion, Cinema! Cinema has outlasted nine other ladies here tonight to capture the very first Diamonds Division Championship. It appeared that, well, the pact that she made with Miranda throughout this match was strong. It appeared that that bond was lasting. I'll tell you what, though. I guarantee you, Miranda is going to be gunning for Cinema after Cinema. Well, was it on purpose? Was it by accident? That remains to be seen. We'll see what Miranda has to say. Either way you look at it, Cinema eliminated her supposed friend, Amanda uh, Miranda, from this match. The huge story here is this: a new Diamonds Division champion, the first ever Diamonds Division champion. It is Cinema, and for many months. Herself included, and many members of the Row Nation have agreed she was the diamond of the Diamonds Division, and tonight she has the hardware and the diamonds to prove it. Well, certainly putting her money where her mouth is. She has talked a lot of trash over the course of her tenure here at Reality of Wrestling, but tonight she has backed it all up. I want to thank you all for coming to this grand event. Reality of Wrestling presents the dark match where two men will settle their differences inside the squared circle. It will be Gustavo Mendoza versus Rex Andrews. The loser will leave Reality of Wrestling in Definitely! The betting odds are open. So let the fight begin! Well, this is it, Brad Gilmore, a best two out of three falls matchup to finally end this feud and decide who leaves and who goes. It's Rex Andrews versus Gustavo Mendoza in an unprecedented first in reality of wrestling, a dark match. Look at this, TP. Oh, look at that. They're nose to nose. Both these men thinking of destroying their opponent and sending them out of reality of wrestling indefinitely. 
And we know Gustavo Mendoza is no stranger to that. He was gone from reality wrestling for almost a year after losing that cage match with the Pride. And here they go. I don't think that it's exile that Gustavo Mendoza fears. I don't think Gustavo Mendoza fears anything at all. And I think that's what gives him the advantage in this match here tonight. One of these men will leave reality of wrestling forever. Oh, boom. Rex Andrews teeing off here early. Reversal in the corner from Gustavo Mendoza. This is going to be a fight. Make no mistake about it. This is not a wrestling match. This is a fight. A bloodlust to be settled once and for all. Reversal. Boom. Here's the thing about this, TP, is these two men know each other so well. You know, we saw Gustavo Mendoza come back at the final heat. And Rex Andrews take it to him there. Then when they tried to have another match, we saw that, 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 that sneaky snake in the grass, Rubio, try to get involved. And now here we are in a dark match, the first of its kind here on Reality Wrestling Television. Oh, wow. Wouldn't you hate to be in the ring with Rex Andrews? Wow, what a shot. Well, Rex Andrews is motivated. I mean, Gustavo Mendoza broke his arm on reality of wrestling television. Yeah. Gustavo Mendoza has brought out, some would argue, the worst in Rex Andrews. Gustavo Mendoza, some would argue, brought out the Sergei Volkov of Rex Andrews. That, that, that identity, that person that Rex Andrews tried to escape, tried to eliminate once and for all. Rex Andrews wants to be his own man. Oh. But in order to do that, he has to step out of the shadow of Gustavo Mendoza. Here's a cover, one. What a nice Cuban Kick leg out. sweep by Gustavo Mendoza. This man, DP, I've seen him over the years in my time here in Reality of Wrestling. He has been one of the most dominant in-ring performers we have ever seen on Reality of Wrestling. He knows every hold, and he knows everything that Rex Andrews already knows. Well, Gustavo Mendoza is a former Reality of Wrestling heavyweight champion, and oh. it was one of the most impressive reigns of that title that we have ever seen. But Rex Andrews is a former Reality of Wrestling television champion as well. Both of them highly decorated. Cover here, two. Kick out from Andrews into a reversal. And here comes that submission specialist in Rex Andrews. He's been training in many different disciplines in the mixed martial arts realm. Judo, Muay Thai. Oh, oh look out. An incredible amateur wrestling background for Rex Andrews as well. This man might be the most well-rounded athlete we have here in Reality of Wrestling. This matchup is absolutely unprecedented. And you talk about the reasons why this has come about. These two have tried to destroy each other time and time again, and it just got to the point where it was no longer safe for either of them to compete in sanctioned action in the reality of wrestling with a crowd. Everyone has been in danger while in their path. Oh, oh my goodness, and shoulder first into the steel. That's why we have a small crowd here tonight that have paid top dollar TP and had to sign a waiver before they were allowed inside the building to view this match. Cover here from Gustavo. Two. Oh. And a kick out at the last moment. Cover again here, two, and another kick out. Rex Andrews, I don't believe, has still fully recovered from that broken arm, and now his shoulder also in jeopardy here. And look at that, Gustavo Mendoza, good call there, TP, is working on that injured arm of Rex Andrews, maybe even trying to re-break that arm. And that would definitely interrupt his, his style, his grapple style that Rex Andrews has developed here in the last few months here in Reality of Wrestling. You don't have your arms, TP. You can't grapple anybody. You can't choke them out. You can't make them submit. Well, it's difficult enough to survive in there with Gustavo Mendoza with oh. two good arms. Impressive kick there from the madman. Here's a cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, but another kick out from Rex Andrews. So much heart and so much determination from Rex Andrews. Oh, now going right, right to that choke. 
That is an illegal maneuver. I don't this know. matchup, I don't know if it is. I was about to say, I don't think there are any real rules here, TP, in the dark match. You just got to make your opponent give up, or you got to pin them. One, two, three in the center of the ring. Mendoza was going for that suplex there, but blocked from Rex Andrews. Again, these two know each other very well. Oh, oh it's that cradle. There's Top eight, eight, two. I thought he had him there, TP. Kick out. Oh, oh, and Mendoza, what a bulldog. That might be it. Face first, cover one, two. Didn't hook the leg that time, and it gave Rex Andrews the opportunity he needed to slip out the back door. It is incredible the heart and determination that Rex Andrews has. did indeed, and they're cheering both of these athletes on right now as they continue to beat the hell out of each other. Close fist, it doesn't matter. Oh, what a wow. close line. Rick Sanders getting fired up, and there's a second one. Boom, so classic Rex. Vintage Rex Andrews right there. Rolls him over, goes for the cover, hooks the leg, two. Wow, Kick two out. and three quarters right there, TP. Kick out at the last moment from Gustavo Mendoza. A seesaw battle in this dark match. Rex Andrews is going through his Rolodex in his mind, trying to figure out what trick can he pull out to finally topple Gustavo Mendoza. And it might be one of these trapped T-bones. Oh. Nice counter for the former leader of Team International. Oh, Here goes, out. it's the West. He hit it. East to west, and if Gustavo Mendoza can roll him over, he will get the first fall. Cover here, two, and a kick out. Wow. I don't know if we have ever seen anyone kick out of the east to west by Gustavo Mendoza. Impressive, impressive, incredible showing. Even the big boss man and the general manager of reality wrestling giving them a hand. trying to break the spirit of Rex Andrews, but I don't think that's possible. Okay, he's got a smile on his face, TP. He says he wants more. He says he wants more. What's gotten into Rex Andrews? Uh-oh. For that east to west again, Brad. Reversal here from Andrews. Oh, and he hit him with his own maneuver. His and own east version. to west from Rex Andrews. Hooks the leg. He's going to do it too. What an air fall. You only see this type of action on the flagship of Texas wrestling, the reality of wrestling. Join in the conversation on Twitter at the official row. Wow. A high risk maneuver here as Rex Andrews heads to the top rope. Goes for that high cross body but misses the mark. But he rolls right up but catches the elbow in the corner. Mendoza from the second oh. rope. Reversal here from Andrews. What a seesaw battle in this dark match. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, what a suplex. suplex here from Rex Andrews. Now he's just waiting for him to get up. He's stalking his prey, Gustavo Mendoza. And here's another. Oh, wow. And a suplex from Rex Andrews. Here's Rex Andrews gets the first fall. Rex Andrews has a 1-0 lead in this best of two out of three falls matchup. What an incredible way to start things off.
Only one man can win. So the next fall will be the deciding factor. This is a best two out of three falls contest now. The final fall will decide it. Rex Andrews had the first. Gustavo got the second. Now it will finally be decided. Who moves on and who goes home forever? And you know Rex Andrews does not want to be the man who goes home TP. His his celebrity, his stock, you should, I should say, is on the rise here in reality wrestling. For an East whoa, 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 whoa. Reversal again, series of reversals, and that's a sleeper hold. There's that deadly submission hold. Look at Gustavo's fading away. Losing consciousness, Rex Andrews, there's one by the referee. Rex Andrews cutting off that oxygen to the brain. Slowly putting It's going to be over sleep. right here, Brad. It's going to be over. Three. Oh. He holds on. Still life remaining. It has been a long road for both of these competitors. Oh, my goodness. And a low blow there for Mendoza. Mendoza. Oh. Wow! Plants him! Cover! One, two, three! No! Rex Andrews is gone! Gustavo Mendoza has destroyed his former protege and has sent him packing out of reality of wrestling. Gustavo Mendoza, once exiled from the reality of wrestling, has now exiled the very man he helped create. Mendoza stays. Rex Andrews' career in the reality of wrestling is over. And Rex Andrews can't believe it. He thought he had it beat. Gustavo Mendoza lives on. Disqualification, no count outs, no holds barred. A score will be settled here tonight. A bloodlust will be settled indeed. Aiden Cristiano and Rex Andrews. But we've got to talk about what we've just seen, Brad. Unbelievable what just happened backstage. Once again, Legion making their presence felt. Man, TP, I mean, these guys, they really freaked me out. And we saw what they did just a, a second ago to Gabriel Hall here. I just, I hope he's all right. Well, we're going to have to get some... Uh, we're going to have to get somebody backstage to find out what's going on. I, I know we've got some, some police officers uh, on standby somewhere. We've got to find out what is going on. Legion once again uh, uh, taking over. We, uh, uh, we're, we're being a little distracted here right now, Brad. It's a, little, it's a tad distracting, TV. Just a, uh, a wee bit. Um, put, the, uh, put the children to bed. And here comes Rex Andrew to uh, refer to here tonight as Southern Comfort. I don't think that uh, Aiden Cristiano is going to take any comfort whatsoever what's about to uh, come to him here in the square zone. He's so cold, DP. Yeah, so cold. He's not so cold. With TP tonight, there's no rules. Anything, everything, anything goes, TP. Anything goes anything here at the Lone Star Rally. Tables, ladders, chairs, anything these two can grab. Maybe they'll use a motorcycle on each other. Maybe someone will get hit with some handlebars. Right now, fist of cuffs back and oh. forth. Rex Andrews wants Ooh, to get wow. himself a piece. You know he wants some. What a shot right there by Rex Andrews, the former Sergey Volkov. And, oh. Oh. 
Drops it down wow. on a boot to the face. I don't know that Rex Andrews is interested in winning this matchup tonight as much as he is just inflicting as much punishment as possible to his arch enemy. These five folks in Hitchcock, Texas, thought they were seeing some wrestling tonight, but this is a straight bare-knuckle fight that we're seeing so far here. And oh, wow! This is a good old-fashioned fight that I know the biker community will appreciate. They're revving up for him, DP. Oh, and look out here. Rex Andrews. Rex Andrews. Oh, oh. to the outside. My goodness. What a suicide dive. What elevation from the former Team International member. You talk about stepping out on your own. What a statement there from Rex Andrews. I've never seen Rex Andrews ever do anything like that. Rex Andrews, Sergey Volkov, I've never seen it before. These two are just going to beat the hell out of each other. Oh, Two careers wow. may end here tonight. And you know this crowd is loving it. The Row Nation on its feet for this one. Oh, wow. Rex Andrews is bloodthirsty. TP, he did not like it getting cracked over the back with that steel chair like we saw last week here on Reality Wrestling. He's taken out all his frustrations. The year of pinup aggression in Team International. He's taking it all out on Aiden Cristiano right, right now. Suplex him to the outside, Brad. Reversal here. And another reversal. These two know each other very well. They've been tag team partners. They've been members of the same faction, the same stable, oh. if you will, for over a year. Stash almost got run into right there by Rex Andrews. Rex able to stop his own momentum. And Aiden Cristiano capitalizing on that right now. Looks like he's choking him out, TP. Referee Stash can count all he wants to. It's no disqualification. Well, if you've come to this one tonight looking for wrist locks and arm bars, you've come to the wrong place. This is going to be a brawl. Make no mistake about it. These two are going to fight, and they are going to fight until they can't stand any longer. The incredible history that exists between Aiden Cristiano and Rex Andrews, formerly known as Sergey Volkov. These two have done everything they could to tear each other apart over the course of the last few weeks. Oh, tonight could be the final chapter. This is definitely not friendly competition, TP. These two are going at it. Oh. High angle, vertical suplex there into a cover. Hooks the leg. Just a one count. You almost imagine perhaps Aiden Cristiano wants to just get this thing over with as quickly as possible. What a hot start for Rex Andrews. And look at that. Look at those left hooks there from Andrews. Oh, My wow. goodness. He's just lining him up, DP. These two men battling the pure exhaustion here. Look Boom. at the big boot to the face. Goes for the cover. Could be over two and no. I think you're right, TP. I don't think Aiden Cristiano really wants any piece of Rex Andrews tonight. He's trying to get this thing over as quick as possible. Well, you know, Aiden Cristiano has said he, he's going to do this on his own. He's going to do this on his own to prove to Team International, to prove to himself, to prove to the Row Nation that he's the better man. But I'm not so sure if he's going to be able to put away Rex Andrews. This is a man with over a year of pent-up frustration. These two hate each other. How this, this relationship exploded between the two of these, I'll never really know, but I've got to tell you something. Right now, they look like two bitter enemies if I've ever seen one. We know, TP, you bring up a good point. you got to think, during the... Team, uh, the, the year of terror from Team International. Ada Cristiano always played the numbers game to his advantage. But tonight, there is no Parviz. There is no Rubio. There's no, Gu there's no Gustavo Mendoza. There's no Rex Andrews. There's no Reyna. We're a little mad about that. There's no Reyna, though. He's all out there by himself. And on the outside, Rex Andrews. Not going to give him much time, though. Getting right back on him here. Oh, he's going to scoop slam on the outside. And I promise you, there is concrete under that mat, and there's very little give in it. If you're enjoying what you're seeing here tonight, make sure you tweet about it. Hashtag BCW, hashtag The Row on Twitter. Tweet us at the official ROW, the official row, Reality of Wrestling on Instagram, or realityofwrestling.com. Oh, if got you want to come chair. to the next live event. Chair. Look out oh. from behind oh. here. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, wow. Stiff shot from Rex Andrews. Rex Andrews has connected with a few of those left hooks, and he's connected flush 
Looks like a heavyweight price fight out here between these two. They're just beating the hell out of each other. It's like a fight between siblings behind the barn, Brad. Oh, drops him neck first across that top rope. Oh, look at this. A little vintage Rex Andrews. Shades of the old Sergey Volkov cover. Two. Almost got him. Man, you know, I I hate to be referee Jason the Stash Olsen. He must have drawn the short stick to get this contest because who knows what's going to happen here tonight at BCW. No rules, no DQ. We already saw the chair come into play. I, I, I'm, I'm scared sitting here at ringside, TP. Well, I would say in terms of enforcing the rules, it's the easiest job anyone has in the building tonight because there are no rules. But I would have to say that uh, Jason the Stash Olsen proving to be quite athletic as he's been avoiding these two all night. They've been flying all over the arena. And look at that. Well, he's a yogi, TP. What a huge superplex from the top. If Rex Andrews can get the cover here, he's going to get the cover. Covered. One. No. Oh, and a kick out. Once again, what is it going to take to put these two down? Oh, Rex Andrews again. Another shot directly to the face. These two don't like each other. They don't respect each other. They don't care. They're going to try and destroy each other. Come on, two. Another kick out by Rex Andrews. Unbelievable. Now Aiden Cristiano's getting frustrated. He's getting P.O.T.P. What is he planning now? He's got that chair once again. Oh, no. It's, it's all legal. It's all legal, Brad. Are we going to see what we saw last week? Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, look at that big boot. Rex Andrews, he's got some steel right now, and he's planning on using it. Oh, oh, wow. Over the top of the head, cover. Two, he got him. Rex Andrews has done it. Steel chair shot to the head. He's cracked Aiden Cristiano's skull open with that blow. What a match, TP. Unbelievable. He's not done with him. He's not done with him yet. I got to tell you, Rex Andrews has proved tonight to Team International. He's proved to all the doubters. He's proved to the Row Nation, and he's certainly proved to us. He is his own man. Rex Andrews standing tall and walking alone here tonight at BCW. Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, the one and only, the reigning, the undisputed, Tyrant Division Champion, Cinema! Hardcore Bob Holly, 
former reality of wrestling television champion Ruthless Ryan Davidson and the Wildcat Sports and Entertainment heavyweight champion and former reality of wrestling tag team champion Stevie Ray. This is the team that represents Abel Andrew Jackson tonight in this battle for the balance of power. That's right, Della, their opponents representing Reality Wrestling General Manager. That's Steve what you get for not being Anglitarian. Please welcome from the House of Hardcore, Team Please. Well, here comes Team Charmel, led by a WWE legend in Devon Dudley. Here comes Alex Reigns, Big Shane Taylor, and Mario Bacara. Mario Bacara, and from Cleveland, Ohio, Shane Taylor. And I think I see the soon-to-be former general manager of Reality Wrestling standing at the stage. You know, for your sake, you better hope that's correct. For your sake, you better start kissing that behind that says double AJ. I will not. Well, the stakes couldn't be any higher. For everyone in that ring, for General Manager Charvel, certainly for us sitting here at ringside, and of course, members of the Roe Nation, one can only imagine what an Abel Andrew Jackson run reality of wrestling would look like. We'd probably border on Bizarro World. That's right, Abel. You tell him, boss. You tell him, boss. He's not the boss of anything. He's about to be your boss. We gotta remember the major implications of this match. Tell you one thing, I would not want to be referee Beard here tonight in this matchup. Talk about earning your pay. Things are going to get started with two competitors who are very familiar with each other Mario Bacara and Ryan Davidson, and their issues are well documented. Oh! Davidson, a former reality of wrestling television champion, Mario Bacara, intensity personified, and he has been one of the most dominant forces since making his debut in the reality of wrestling roughly six months ago. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa. Get him off of beer, that's unfair. Oh! There you go, Ryan. Atta boy. This is a man that attacked you last year at Comic Palooza. Now you're rooting for him? Well, we met up at the Ablitarian Summit last night, and we worked out our differences. Oh, what a oh. back body drop from Bakora! My goodness! Wrong corner, Ryan! Wrong corner! Hey, hey, that's cheap. Cover here from Bakora. Hooks the leg. Two. Kick out. How do you think Team Charmel even has a remote chance of winning this match? You have a surefire future Hall of Famer in the ring right now. Former reality wrestling tag team champion, Stevie Ray. Boom! There's no doubt about it. Stevie Ray is one of the all-time greats and currently the Wildcat Sports Heavyweight Champion. Get some, want some, sucker! See, look. They're being fair. They're not beating up on him in the corner like Team Charmel did. Being fair, TP. Being fair. Just like Abel Andrew Jackson. Just like Abel Andrew Jackson's reality wrestling would be you know, a fair reality you know, wrestling. You really do have a skewed perspective of reality, don't you? Are you even living in the real world? I have a clear perception of reality of wrestling. And I want my reality wrestling run by a great American like Abel Andrew Jackson. Oh! Stevie Ray went to follow up there on that scoop slam with an elbow but missed the mark. Mario Bacara now needs to make a tag. He's been in there for quite some time. And here's the tag, and here comes Big Shay Taylor, the man who Stevie Ray defeated for the Wildcat Heavyweight Championship. And remember, if Team Charmel wins this match, Stevie Ray's got to put that title on the line at a future date 
against Shane Taylor. They're about to go to blows. It's put up yeah. and shut up time, and here we go. What Stevie a, Ray and Big Shane Taylor. What a veteran maneuver. There's almost 600 pounds of mass in that ring right now. Oh. It's all right, Stevie. Shake it oh, off. Oh, what a close line. Stevie, shake it off. It's OK. Come on, Stevie. Shane Taylor makes the tag, and here comes Alex Reigns. What a hot streak Alex Reigns has been on in 2015. Oh, thumb to the eye. What? We thumb talking to about? the eye. Uh, that, you're oh, crazy. Oh, please stop acting yeah. like you didn't see it. Great American in the ring. Great American in the ring. Abel Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Get him, Double AJ. Double AJ. Boom. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Cheap shot. Tag it. Here comes Team on Dudley. Well, this is this is remnant of last year's Summer of Champions, which started off Abel Andrew Jackson versus Devon Dudley. And we saw what Devon did to oh. Abel Andrew Jackson last year, embarrassing him in front of the Row Nation in Humble, Texas, and he looks to do the same thing here tonight. Oh, hey, whoa. That's no way to talk to a, a surefire Hall of Famer. You know, Devon's still mad that Harlem Heat's the greatest tag team of all time. Harlem Heat in the matchup tonight. It's Stevie Ray, part of a four-man tag team. Whoa. Hooks the leg here, Makara, two. And a kick out from Abel Andrew Jackson. It's hard to deny this is the most important night in the history of Abel Andrew Jackson's life. And it's gonna be the worst night of your life after you get canned because of your disparaging remarks against our great general manager. There is a difference between making disparaging remarks and telling the truth, Brad Gilmore. Yeah, I tell the truth, you make disparaging remarks. Disparaging remarks. Now, we talk about it being Team Charmel versus Team Abel, and it sure is. But you would have to think TP, the captain of each team, is Stevie and Devon Dudley. Between the two of them, over 20 tag team championships won. So when it comes to a tag match, no one has more knowledge than the two of them. It's very true. It's the first thing you've said during this match that actually makes sense. I'm still waiting on you two. Akara, Irish whip, reversal here. Oh, and Stevie Ray trying to interject once again. Oh, oh no. Here comes here Bob Holly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on now. Hardcore Bob Holly. No, no, no. Face oh, first. yeah. Ball. Yeah. That's right. Oh, come on. Look at him. Look at what? Look at what? Abel Andrew Jackson running away. What are you talking about? Like a scolded child. What a, what a great match. This what a is great what team. you call a great American. Look at him. It's a great team. That's right. That's right. Please sit down. You have a job to do. You want to cheer the man? Why don't you buy I'm a ticket it. and sit on the other side of the rail? I'm doing my job, TP. You worry about you. Mario Bakura in big trouble right now, and he has to climb back into the ring and answer the count. The count is at nine, and Bakura gets in at the last moment. Oh. But Ryan Davidson was waiting for him. And here comes hardcore Bob Holly. One of the toughest men in the history of professional wrestling slash sports entertainment. We saw him take the Mysterious Q to the absolute limit. And now he's going to be in the corner of Double AJ and secure his future here, here at RW. Two. Kick out from Bakara. Mario Bakara has spent a considerable amount of time in the ring. Right now, you can't deny that in terms of working together as a team, Team Able doing the better job. Thank you for finally admitting to it. Everyone on Team Able oh. is a champion. 
champion, a former champion. Hooks eight. the leg here. Abel Andrew Jackson looking to become the new general manager, but a kick out from Mario Bacaro. And each one of these men have faced the top competition in sports entertainment. One can only imagine what is going on right now in the mind of general manager Charmel. Don't go anywhere, Row Nation. This matchup will continue in a moment. That's what's about to happen if Mar Bacara can't make a tag. Mar Bacara needs to make a tag. He's in big trouble here. Abel Andrew Jackson what on a great top. American. It's showboating once again. Oh, oh, but missed the mark right there. That's what happens when you toy around with your opponent inside the squared circle. Bacara needs to make a tag. There's the tag, and here comes Devon Dudley. No. Oh. Oh. oh, what a shoulder tackle right there. A patented Devon Dudley shoulder oh. tackle catches Devon. Stevie Ray. Cut Devon right there, oh. and then a neck breaker out of nowhere. And here comes Bob Holly, Devon oh. Dudley. Over Whoa. the top onto the ramp. Devon. Drops Abel, neck first across the top rope. He gets dumped unceremoniously out of the ring. Irish whipping to the corner. Devon feeding off the energy of the Row Nation. Oh, into the corner, what a body splash. Coming back, Oh, another shoulder tackle. Devon on fire, cover here too. But Stevie Ray breaks it up. Absolute bedlam in our main event with control of reality of wrestling hanging in the balance. Oh! What a spear from Devon! Tag, Alex Reigns. Abel Andrew Jackson face to face. Now they're trading blows. Now mind you, this is one fall to a finish. First man to get a pinfall or a submission will win for their team. Oh! Alex Reigns on fire. Wait a minute, reversal. Oh no, Alabama slam! Alabama slam! Oh. Roll up, reversal! Team Charmel almost victorious. Oh! Spine buster from Holly. What a match. Cover one, two. That's it. Almost. Kick out from Alex Reigns, but it took everything he had to kick out after that spine buster. Unbelievable. Whoa. That's right. Get him, Bob. Bob. And here comes big Stevie Ray once again. Bob Holly, so impressive. Stevie Ray looking like he's in the best shape of his career, Brad. Look at Stevie. Scoop and a slam. That's right. That's right. Tell him, Stevie. Oh, and once again, the mind games. Come on. Come on here. This is what we have to look forward to with Abel Andrew Jackson in charge. What are you talking about? You're, you're Competitive really, matches, you're, you're right. excited about this? Competitive matches, you're right, TP. General Manager Charmel made this match. No, she didn't. Oh. And if she did, she's Cover done. two. Oh, my goodness. That's right. Come uh, on. Near fall Come of on, near Beard. falls right there. Count faster. Your job's on the line. Even if Shormel did make this match, she's not wrestling in it. If this company means so much to her, why is she competing in the match? That's what I thought, TP. Because she's not an in-ring competitor. She's the general manager of the company. Well, so is Abel Andrew Jackson, and he is fighting for his company. Oh! Double clothesline, both men down. 
And the first to get to a vertical base will have a distinct advantage and they'll certainly grant it to their team. Shane Taylor, Devon Dudley, Mario Bacara chomping at the bit for a tag. On the other side, Stevie Ray, Abel Andrew Jackson, and hardcore Bob Holly. There's the tag. Here comes Shane Taylor. Here comes Abel. Shane Taylor, what a powerful bohemoth. That's, there you go, Abel. Uh -oh. oh! Ouch. Cover, one, two. Oh, my goodness, another near fall. Oh, a diva on a bomb, Holly, Shane Taylor, and Stevie Ray, Bukhar and Davidson, all going at it. Oh my, it's absolute chaos out here. It's absolute chaos. Hang on. Bob Holly and Devon going at it. Oh no. Wait, no. Hey, that's my water. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen. No! Stand up, Brad! No! General Manager Charmel reigns supreme! What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? You picked a loser! That's what happened! They didn't play by the rules! They cheated! You heard them, they cheated! They cheated! I'm with you! I'm with you! Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but due to some unfortunate circumstances, our Diamonds Division champion is not in the building tonight. So the title has officially been vacated. Now this Diamonds Division Battle Royal, the title will be on the line and that match is up next. Here we go, Brad Gilmore, Diamond Division action. It is a 10 carat battle royal. Eliminate an opponent by throwing them out of the ring. Could be under the bottom rope, could be through the middle rope, could be over the top rope. Bottom line is the competitor's feet must touch, must touch the floor and they are eliminated. Yep, Diamond rules in this battle royal. A lot of new faces to the Row Nation. Here's the face that's very familiar, the Black Diamond, Ivory Robin. Let's we know her history at Summer of Champions. Lena actually presented her the Diamond Division Championship at Summer of Champions 2. Yeah, Ivory Robin winning at Summer of Champions 2 last year. Kylie Ray competed in a fatal four-way for this championship. Very interesting. The very first Summer of Champions is where we ground our Diamonds Division Championship, our champion, in a battle royal just like this. And here is the former champion, the two-time champion, Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray telling everyone to move over. That's bullshit. She's got to screw up. Will you please stop it? Wait a minute. Wait a second. There's the returning cinema. Holy cow. Cinema is in the building. Wow. The very first Diamonds Division Champion, a woman who won that title at the very first Summer of Champions. Cinema is back in the reality of wrestling. Well, this is breaking news indeed, and definitely not announced. 
And I don't think I'm going out on a limb here by calling Cinema the oh, favorite wait, to win go. this whole thing, Brad. Here we go. I'm with you on that one, Matt Topolsky. Cinema is gonna look to capture that championship. Ladies and gentlemen, competitors can be eliminated if they're thrown out of the ring and both feet hit the floor. So that's over the top, under the bottom, or through the middle. As long as they're thrown out of the ring, they're eliminated. And Matt Topolsky, this is a hard one to call. Well, Ivory Robin already working on one competitor, trying to eliminate her right now. Kylie Ray in the corner as well, doing some significant damage. Cinema trying to work her way out of a double team in the corner. Cinema being double teamed, won by High Young. I mean, Summer of Champions is without a shadow of a doubt the land of opportunity. You said it yourself, we crowned the first ever Diamonds champion here at Summer of Champions. Ivory Robin was presented the Diamonds title by WWE Hall of Famer Lita at the second Summer of Champions. We have Cinema with a return here tonight. Kylie Ray trying to recapture that title once again. Ivory Robin, the Black Diamond, would love to capture that title once again. High Young is in there doing some damage to Cinema right now. Absolute bedlam in there. Well, no lady looks like they've been eliminated yet, Matt Topolsky. But I gotta agree with you. I think the favorite to win this one has to be Cinema. Oh, wait a minute, we got our first elimination. Ivory Robin with an elimination here. Best advice I can give for all these athletes. There are There's no Sarah friends Pelosi. in the Battle Royal. It is every woman for herself. Ivory Robin, the Black Diamond, now has two eliminations in this match. Kylie Ray just threw a competitor out, and the two-time Diamonds Division champion off to a good start. Oh, wait a minute, she almost fell out there. Holy Kylie cow. Ray. Hold on, if Kylie Ray's feet touch the floor, she's out. Wait a minute, she eliminates a woman, oh wow. Wait a, Kylie wait a, Ray, wait a, hold on. Kylie Ray is still in this match. Oh, Cannonball wow. in the corner from High Young. Well, now it's down to Kylie Ray, Ivory Robin, High Young Cinema. Wait a minute, go oh! to top. She's now been in the High Young with a super kick. We're at our final. We're at our final four. Either High Young. Oh, and Cinema, Cinema with that trademark sidewalk slam. Kylie Ray. Diamonds champion going up against two former champs. Several Diamonds division title reigns. Wait a minute. Between the three of them, oh, Cinema's gone. Cinema has been eliminated by Ivory Robin and Kylie Ray. And Kylie Ray is not going to make nice wait with a the minute. Black Diamond. Oh, wait a minute. Ha Young almost going out. She catches it. Oh, super kick. We are down to our final two. Either Ivory Robin or Kylie Ray will be the new. Diamonds Division Champion. And interesting, it comes out of these two. Kylie Ray defeated Ivory Robin in her very first night in reality wrestling to win the championship from her. It is like destiny. Once again, we're seeing it transpire right now. Can Kylie Ray become the first ever three-time Diamonds Division Champion? She has the opportunity to do so tonight. And it looks like, oh, I thought she was gonna throw over right there. that top rope to brace herself right now. Kylie Ray on the offensive. Ivory Robin in her expeditions outside the reality wrestling has claimed many championships across different promotions. Tonight, can she reclaim the one that means the most to her? And that's the Diamonds Division Championship. Irish whip, reversal here. Kylie Ray, head of steam, into the Wait corner! A Wait a second! Kylie blocking it. Looks like she's gonna get to come back in. High risk, high reward. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. Kylie Ray. Ivory Robin just has still to hit walking her. that tightrope. Oh, and a oh, big bounce. Ivory Robin has done it. Here is your winner and new division champion, Ivory. Play
Ryan Davidson has been one of the fiercest, dirtiest competitors here in reality of wrestling for quite some time. And think of some of his epic matches, not only with Mysterious Q, but with the American Eagle, among others, and obviously with the, uh, the hatred between the Pride and Stevie Ray, all bets are off with this one. Goes for that quick cover, two. And the Pride all over Ryan Davidson right now. He's gonna have to get to the outside and get a breather. And he can take all the time he wants. There are no count outs and no disqualifications. But the Pride has a long and dark history, it seems, with Stevie Ray guys, including ruthless Ryan Davidson. As you remember, Rich, Stevie Ray and his Samoan beast cost the Pride his heavyweight championship on February the 9th. Pride held that championship for about, oh, I don't know, five minutes, if that after an epic steel cage match in which Pride flew oh, not once but twice from the top of the cage. And you talk about steel, it looks as if there's some right here and Ryan Davidson looking to capitalize, oh. look out, oh my goodness. They're coming over here. Right out here in front of us. Oh, and the Pride connects. We may have to get out of dodge. The Pride all over. Ryan Davidson right now like a cheap suit. Matt Topolsky, what I want to know right now is where is Stevie Ray? Why is Stevie Ray not out here? Why does he have his errand boy that out is here? an excellent question, Rich. And the only thing that I could speculate is that he is preparing the Samoan Beast for his epic steel cage title defense tonight against the Mysterious Q. And you've got to wonder with Stevie Ray's accents, will it affect this matchup in any way for ruthless Ryan Davidson? The uh -oh. pride ahead look out, of Steve look out, Matt, look out. Oh! Head first! My God, that is sickening! The he's, pride could be out cold! He's done. He's done. Ruthless Ryan Davidson swung that chair square on the cranium of the pride, and somehow he is still stirring. I don't know how he's even moving at this point. That was a sickening thought. The pride is one of the toughest, if not the toughest star in the reality of wrestling, but that may be it. Cover two, he kicked out. How did he kick out after that violent chair shot? Ryan Davidson himself has admitted that the Pride may in fact be the toughest star in the reality of wrestling, but tonight he's gonna break him down. That's his plan. Wants to break that chair, look at it, twisted, bent. Ryan Davidson with bad intentions right here. I mean, this kid in the Pride's career. There is so much at stake at the outcome of this matchup, but quite frankly, all of that right now. Oh, look at that suplex on the chair. All of that right now. Cover, one, two, and a kick out again from the Pride. To finish my thought, all of that right now doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the hatred between these two and settling the score here tonight. But you could say that Ryan Davidson changed after the series with Mysterious Q becoming even more ruthless. I mean, that's just not a nickname. He is legit a ruthless human being. And look at Skip Johnson giving Davidson that leather belt. What does he have in mind? It's no disqualification. He has beating in his mind. That's all he wants to do to the Pride. The Pride somehow fighting back. It's like he's fighting a pure instinct right now, Rich. He has to still be seeing stars after that chair shot. Oh! No. The pride is operating right now on nothing but instinct. Listen to that. You can see pieces of the belt exploding. Cover. It's got to be over two. No. There are a few things as sickening as the sound of leather striking flesh that hard. And the sickest thing of all is that Ryan Davidson loves the sound. He's salivating at the opportunity to hurt and potentially end the career of the Pride. He's trying to choke him. 
Just trying to take the it's air away from legal. him. It's all legal, Rich. I think you brought up a good point earlier on. Ryan Davidson has been seeking the approval of Stevie Ray ever since losing that, uh, that well, what turned into a six-match series with Mysterious Q. And I think you brought up a great point with Stevie Ray not out here. What does that do for the psyche of Ryan Davidson? Does it make him even more ruthless? Does it make him even more sadistic as he tries to prove his worth to Stevie? Well, I'll tell you right now, as he goes for the cover here, one, two, almost got him, two at 99%. But the pride kicked out again. Certainly not having a crisis of confidence is Ryan Davidson without Stevie Ray at ringside. He looks firmly in control right now. No, my, my point is, you know, does it make Ryan Davidson dig deep into that that black hole of, of that heart of his and, and just, you know, do even more depraved acts as he tries to, to, to win that, uh, that confidence, as he tries to win the approval of Stevie Ray. And now he puts Pride up on the top rope and Pride, Pride may just collapse off that top rope at any moment. The Pride is as tough as nails, there's no question about that. And now look at him. Battling back here, the pride, look at that! Muscle memory, instinct. That's all the pride has left right now. And the pride could go for a cover here. He may catch Ryan Davidson, no. Keep your eye on the prize, kid. Skip Johnson put that belt into the ring, the tables are turned, and now, oh, it may be time for Ryan Davidson to visit the back of the woodshed. Oh! oh! Right across the chest and face. On a oh! It's hard to watch. Oh. Ryan Davidson is reeling, and somehow the pride, I don't know where he's found this energy. Cover one, two. Ryan Davidson kicks out. And no disqualification at all. Anything goes in this matchup. Both of these stars have had incredible careers in the reality of wrestling, but never before have either of them found themselves in a position quite like this. No disqualification where they stand across the ring from each other, both of them brutal enemies. And now Davidson back with those knife edge chops. What has he got in mind here? Reversal from the pride. Face first. first. And the pride looks like he may have gained back his equilibrium. I don't know how. Uh-oh. What's the pride doing here? Oh. He's got a trash can. Well, it looks like the janitor left that here at ringside. Hey, who keeps putting these steel trash cans at the side of the ring? Well, it may be time for the Pride to take out the trash. Ryan Davidson wanted this. I think he might be second guessing that decision right now. Look at the Pride trying to wedge that, that trash can. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going, Rich? Oh my God. I know exactly where he's going. He's not going. He's not gonna do this. The Pride on the top. Across the ring. My God. The Pride has no fear. A fan terminator across the ring on the square circle. Yes, 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 yes. Listen to this sold out crowd tonight here in Houston. He's gonna pull him back to the middle of the ring. This has got to be the end. Cover, two, kick out again. Whether you love him or you hate him, you've got to admit Ryan Davidson is one of the toughest men to ever enter the reality of wrestling. Yeah, there is absolutely no doubt about that. He has put himself through hell and back and is doing it again here tonight. Both of these guys here, the Pride and Ryan Davidson taking out their hatred, their frustration, Especially the pride who has so much to prove against Ryan Davidson and Stevie Ray. Oh. Look at that clothesline. Where did that come from? Cover. He's got him this time. He's got him though. The pride kicked out. Fraction of an inch. A seesaw battle. 
no disqualification between two men who loathe each other, two men who hate the sight of each other, and they will stop at nothing to destroy the other one. Well, the pride laying face first in the ring, and Ryan Davidson looking for, looking for another object from under the ring. No. The, Wait a second. The, the pride may have injured his, his leg after oh, crashing no. that crash came, oh, but no. look at this. Oh no, he's got a table. I don't think the pride can get up. That right leg of his appears to be injured as Ryan Davidson setting up a table and this is gonna not end well for the pride. That table is solid wood. And Davidson perching it in the corner now. You're right, Rich. The pride can't even put any weight on that leg. He may have severely injured that knee. Oh, no. That table set up. Oh, no. Head of steam. The roll up. Reversal here. The pride drops him on his head. Cover. One, two, no. I thought it was all over there. What do either of these men have to do to the other rich to win this match tonight? They have pulled out all the stops. There is perhaps one stop left, and that is that table that the pride has grabbed a hold of. Still favoring that right leg a little bit, but I'll tell you what, both of these guys have just absolutely given everything in this matchup. You look at the welts, you look at the bruises, the sheer pain that both of these men have put themselves through is unfathomable. I don't think that either of them could have imagined things getting this extreme, things going to this measure. The Pride looking to exercise those demons out. He forced them face first. He forced them face first into the table. Ryan Davidson face down on that table. Ryan Davidson is hurt. The force and the velocity to force him head first through the center of that solid table. But the pride's not finished, Rich. The pride looking to put this thing away. No, wait a minute. Ryan Davidson picking him up. Oh, no. Not gonna do this. was left of that table just exploded into the front row. Cover, that's gotta be it. Two, three. Here's your winner, Ruthless Ryan Davidson. Huntsville, Texas, Alex Wayne. This is your main event on the reality of wrestling this week. It is a four-way ladder match. And the winner will become a number one contender of their choosing. The winner can choose to be the number one contender of the heavyweight championship or the TV title, Brad. Well, there he is. The high flyer, the death to fire, Britain Sky. He is like a human daredevil. One of the most uncanny athletes and performers we have ever seen. Brendan Sky representing Legion and the Julian Year. From Pasadena, Texas, and his way to the ring, well, the Pride is no stranger to ladder matches. 
He was in one in the television championship tournament with ruthless Ryan Davidson. And we remember what happened there. It was violence personified, Brad. Could the, could the pride grab the contract and become the number one contender for a title of his choosing? You gotta like his odds. Well, ever since returning from exile to India, Rex Andrews has been, I think without question, the most devastating and cold force in reality of wrestling. He simply comes in, beats his opponent into submission, and then leaves. It's Rex Andrews, Alex Reigns, Brendan Sky, and the Pride. It's a ladder match for the number one contendership of their choosing in the main event right now. This has a big fight field to a TP, and they look like they're ganging up on Alex Reigns. Well, Brendan Sky and the Pride right now beating down Alex Reigns. Meanwhile, Rex Andrews wisely grabbing the ladder. He's going for the contract immediately, Brad. This, He's this, letting everyone else do his dirty work. This is why, oh, I probably wasn't going to let him do that. I mean, Rex Andrews arrives, wins, and leaves. That's what he's been doing for weeks on the road. Whatever uh, he learned out there in India, oh. Sure benefit him, but here's the house from Huntsville, Alex Reigns. Uh-oh. Uh oh Uh-oh. No. Uh -oh. oh! Helicopter spin! Oh! Alex Reigns. Oh! And Alex Reigns and Brendan Sky, no stranger to each other. We know the battles that Alex Reigns has had with Legion. Right out here in front of us is the Pride and Rex Andrews. Oh man, TV, there's so much going on. I don't know what to focus on. It's absolute chaos. Three of these men right are now. brawling outside. Pride, Alex Reigns, and Rex Andrews. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Brendan Sky's up there on the top. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, Brendan geez. Sky! You've got to be kidding me. A backwards corkscrew moan moonsault by Brendan Sky. And I can't, I've never seen anything like that, TP. All three men are down except for Brendan Sky, standing tall, looking to get that contract. Brendan Sky looking to climb the ladder of success, but the pride oh. interjects. Jeez. Oh, Alex Reigns and Rex Andrews battling on the outside, and Alex Reigns is grabbing a table. Uh -oh. Alex Reigns going for a table while Brendan Sky. And Pride are battling inside the ring. Get DP, there's so much chaos. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. I can't even focus on one thing at a time. There's so much going on. Oh. Well, we got a, there's a table now set up outside. <laughs> DP, have you ever seen anything like that? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I certainly have not. The Pride right now. Has Brendan Sky on the ring apron. Look out here. Oh. oh, and the pride eats some steel directly to the face. Rex Andrews not apologizing for that. Rex Andrews. And then he just dumps the pride unceremoniously to the outside. Rex Andrews doesn't care about anything other than winning. He's not here to make friends, Brad, that's for sure. Well, it looks like Alex Reigns is setting up that ladder. He's going to go for the go for the contract right now. Well, Alex Reigns. Climbing the wrong side of the ladder. Oh, look oh. at Brendan Sky catapults himself on the top of the ladder. Oh. Meanwhile, got... on the outside, the Pride and Rex Andrews oh. going at it. Oh, look out. Wait, 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 wait. Pride and Rex. Pride's trying to put Rex Andrews through that table. Rex reversing. Pride oh. going into that ladder. Oh, it's absolute chaos out here. It's hard to focus it on one thing. Well, there's only one way to win this matchup, and that is to climb the ladder and grab the oh. contract, guaranteeing the winning competitor a number one contendership for a title of his choosing. That ladder is a deadly weapon. I mean, so is Rex Andrews. You talk about climbing the ladder of opportunity. Oh, that's exactly what this matchup is here in our main event. 
Rex Reversal. Andrews, spine buster. Oh, wait, no. An inverted atomic drop. Oh. It is absolute bedlam out here. That contract hangs high above the ring. Wait, Wait a, a minute, minute. reverse! Oh. oh no! Oh my goodness! He, he, I think he bit the ladder right there, TP. Well, steel is certainly not meant to bend and contort, and neither is the human spine, but that's exactly what we just witnessed. Look at that, you see right where he's planted him on it. And Rex Andrews now looking to climb the ladder. I don't know if it's gonna hold up. That ladder was broken by, oh, by Alex Reigns back. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because Brendan Sky pulled him off of it anyway. Rex Andrews. Oh, gee. Oh, wow. What has gotten into Rex Andrews since he returned from his exile? <laughs> what is this man seeing in India? I mean, he's completely unrecognizable, Brad. He is the most dangerous man in reality of wrestling. But wait a minute. Brendan Sky, known for his unorthodox oh, techniques. Oh, my goodness. A standing senton on top of Rex Andrews. What an innovative maneuver there from Brendan Sky, the uncanny Brendan Sky of Legion. Wow, what a main event here on the CW. Use that and hashtag roll on CW. Wait a minute, Brendan Sky's got a chair. There is no disqualification. There is no count out. There is no oh. pinfall. Oh, wait a minute. That ladder set up. The wait Pride takes advantage. My goodness! Oh. Across the ring! The Pride with a Van Terminator! He went coast to coast. Border to border right there. Planted those two feet right into Rex Andrews' skull. And look at the way that chair has contorted. Brendan Sky going up top. Oh my goodness, a Superman punch from Brendan Sky. Flying Superman punch. This is insanity. He's putting the ladder on top of the pride. I don't know what I'm seeing here. Oh! This is why we are called the flagship of Texas wrestling. Oh, death rights. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Impossible to keep up with the action in the main event! Remember that ladder has been weakened. I don't know if that ladder is going to hold up the weight of Alex Reigns. Well, the referee is holding up the weight, it looks like, but wait a minute. What the heck is this? That's the ministers of defense. That's the ministers what of defense. What are they doing out here? Hey, there's a there's a great politician. There's Abel Andrew Jackson. Come on now! And the Minister's of Defense participating in a boot party here, orchestrated by Abel Andrew Jackson. What business does he have out here? It's no DQ, TP. Oh! All the abletarians around the world rejoice. The master politician is here. Oh no, come on! No, no! Swing vote! Boom! That's it, swing vote. Vote Abel, he's not even on the ballot, and he's certainly not in this match. He's on my ballot, and he's on America's ballot. You heard him, don't ever mess with him, or his business. Nobody was messing with him. This is a four-way match for a number one contendership. And Abel Andrew Jackson just crashed the party. Meanwhile, the pride on the outside going to work on Brendan Sky. Alex Reigns has been attacked pride. by the ministers of defense and Abel Andrew Jackson. Well, pride putting that putting the good ladder in the ring. You know, pride's smarter than I thought he was. Well, you got to give the pride credit. That is a wise decision. No one to challenge his climb to the top oh, now. There. He's right there. Wait a minute. Here comes Brendan Sky. Oh, and a low blow from the uncanny high flyer. This is just insanity. And a chair to the head. Break it, guys. Break it. 
I'll tell you one thing, Brad. The official is really what is earning his pay what in this main event. Oh, whoa. And now what is Brendan Sky doing? All he has to do is climb to the top and grab the contract, Brad. What is he doing? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait Come a minute. on here. Oh! oh! Rex Andrews just powerbombed Brendan Sky through a table with the pride on top of it. These men are not moving. Alex Reigns. Oh, look out, my God. Oh, jeez. Somebody call Walker, Texas lawyer. It's a demolition derby out here. Wait a minute, Rex climbs to the top. And Rex Andrews. Rex Andrews. Has is, just claimed his number one contendership. Rex Andrews is the number one contender. official raises his hand, he wins and walks out of the building. Broken bodies and broken dreams. We're gonna need the cleanup crew to work overtime on this one. We're gonna need emergent care. It is pure hatred. And it is about to explode. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a last man standing match for the reality of wrestling television championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Greensboro, Texas, weighing in at 220 pounds, Brian Hughes. His opponent, from Dalton, Alabama, weighing in at 223 pounds, he is the reality of wrestling television champion, Rex Andrews. Unapologetic. No human emotions. He's a machine. He is the most dangerous element in the row, and I call him an element because, Brad, I'm unsure as to whether or not he is a human being. What Rex Andrews does inside that squared circle is incredible. Brian Keith on the other side captured the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship at the Pasadena Convention Center at the final heat. His career exploded after that. He was unbeatable until he met Rex Andrews. Until he, makes, until he met Rex Andrews' right URTP, and if you look at Brian Keith's right arm, it is still, oh, wow. Oh, man. I was going to say, if you look at his right arm, it's still bandaged. Oh, from the damage inflicted by Rex Andrews, but Brian Keith's feet still seem to be intact. Wow. Fastest kicks in the south on full display right now. This is a last man standing match for the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship. The rules are simple. The only way to defeat your opponent is to knock them out. They must not be able to answer the count of 10. If they do not answer the 10 count, the match is over. It's that simple. Two men enter, one will leave, conscious. I can't think of another rivalry between two competitors in recent memory here in Reality of Wrestling that had more hatred, more blood boiling elements than this rivalry right here. I have to agree 100% and right now look at the strategy from Brian Keith. A modified sleeper hold looks more like a choke hold. He's trying to choke out Rex Andrews. And that is completely legal in Damn. this matchup. You just, gotta, you just gotta lay that man down for 10 seconds to win or retain that television championship. What a violent kick to the head. And now the count begins. Rex Andrews must get back to both feet to break the and he's count. Up. Only a count of three. It's gonna take more than that. 
to knock down Rex Andrews, but Brian Keith, what's got to be his strategy here, TP? It's simple. Knock out Rex Andrews. Oh! Oh, wow! What a reversal from Rex Andrews. Brian Keith took a second to get a little strutted. Oh, they no, play with close the crowd. Fists right now. It's ground and pound from Rex Andrews. Close fists are legal. And now the count begins. Let me turn the tables and ask you, Brad Gilmore, who has the advantage? Rex Andrews is a submission expert, but you must incapacitate your opponent in this matchup. Well, what better way to incapacitate somebody by making them submit to the pain of a dangerous maneuver? And speaking of dangerous maneuvers, what is Rex Andrews doing? Don't touch that dial. Summer of Champions 3 and the reality of wrestling rolls on after this break. This last man standing match, when Brian Keith officially snapped and used a steel chair to almost end Rex Andrews' career. So both of these competitors, no strangers to the steel chair or other foreign objects for that matter. Man. Man. Oh, no. Oh! oh. Brian Keith, a kick to the temple. Well, remember the vicious assault. With that chair that we saw between these two very recently. Seems as though that trend continues. Stash is up to a six count. Seven. And Rex Andrews gets up at the very last opportunity. We only three seconds to go. Rex Andrews, I'm not sure he knows where he is right now, Brad, but Brian Keith has another incident, another instrument, excuse me, of destruction. And that just happens to be a steel ladder. is Brian Keith thinking right now, man? What could he possibly be doing with that ladder propped up in the position that it is? The mind can only wonder, but right now the action's outside the ring. Brian Keith lighting Rex Andrews up with some more of those kicks. Brian Keith knows, Brad, that this is his final opportunity, not only to capture that TV title, but to defeat Rex Andrews. When I sat down with these two athletes, and discuss this match between the two of them. I can tell you that both of them, defeating the other was just as important to them as capturing that title. This is a blood feud if there ever was one. And Rex Andrews has left the building. Where is he going? Well, there are no count outs. There are no disqualifications. And now, oh, oh. my goodness. Peekaboo, Brian Keith. Oh, wait, now they're taking the stage. Oh, my goodness. That is a piece of metal trussing. Oh. Rex Andrews is tearing the stage apart. Right to that right arm, that injured right arm of Brian Keith. Rex Andrews doing whatever it takes to retain that championship. As smart as he is dangerous, Stash is up to a count of four. Brad, I have seen steel chairs used. I have seen ladders used. I have seen trash cans used in professional wrestling. I've even seen a kitchen sink. I've never seen part of the stage used before. We just saw it from Rex Andrews. Brian Keith got up at the count of eight. How did he do that? Muscle memory, pure instinct, stupidity. Oh no, oh no. He should have just stayed down. Snap suplex from Rex Andrews. And back to ground and pound again. Those closed left hands going right to the jaw of Brian Keith. Rex Andrews said, I'm not done with you just yet. Rex Andrews now takes Brian Keith to the ring apron. What is he thinking? Here? Looks like he's trying to hip toss him or something off the 
apron. The amount of damage, the amount of punishment that both of these athletes are putting each other through for this TV title. Oh my God, a rock bottom. On the ring apron, that is a metal frame that connects the ring together. And Rex Andrews' spine just collided with it. Up to a count of four, both men are laid out on the ground. Brian Keith pulling out all the stops. Up to a count of six, Brian Keith is up. Rex Andrews has not made it back to his feet yet. And now he's back in the ring. Count is broken up. Brian Keith knows this is his last opportunity at the television championship. He loses this match. He falls far down the ranks here in reality of wrestling when it comes to the television championship division. Right you are, there's no question about it. Brian Keith needs this victory. Rodeo did it, did it. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He's tearing that arm apart! One vicious tear shot after another, and that arm has to be in pieces! And an oh, ejection seat suplex! Goodness! Rex Andrews! I have never seen anything quite like this! And he's grabbing his TV title and saying it's over! Up to a count of six. Rex Andrews is about to leave the building. Count of eight. Count of nine. Brian oh. Keith. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Brian Keith made it up before the 10 count. After everything these gladiators have been through and everything they've put each other through, this match can't end like this. Wait a minute, Booker T is out here. He just told Stash to get to the back. I don't think this match is over. This is madness! Listen up! He made it up before the 10 count! No! No! Now right now, I want to get my junior referee out here because I'm going to restart this match right now! The match will be restarted! There's more reality of wrestling still to come. Don't go anywhere. More Summer of Champions 3 in a moment. Booker T stripped Gino of his championship. And now when Rex retained that title, he reverses the decision. I think Booker T is throwing his weight around, TP. Rodeo DDT, he's looking for it and he no. hit it! And the count begins! Up to a count of five. Can't both make it up. Oh, Rex Andrews! Rex Andrews got to his feet! Rex Andrews rolled out of the ring and got to his feet! He broke the count! He broke the count at the very last second. I saw it. I, I saw, saw it. it. Oh, look I out. Oh, oh, look out. Oh. Hey. Oh. He was up before the count of 10. Oh, my goodness. Come oh. on, guys. Right out here in front of us.
Rodeo DDT. Looking for it. Wait oh. a minute. Rex Andrews caught. Brian Keith in midair. No, no, no. Out of oh, down. Slam on the ladder. You've got to be kidding me. Count one, two. If not the biggest match in reality of wrestling in history, you have heavyweight champion of the row, Mysterious Q, reality wrestling television champion Ryan Davidson, the tag champs, the heavenly bodies, the pro wrestling syndicate heavyweight champion Mario Bacara, and that's just the champions in the match. Five on five elimination. Those are the rules. Contest. Pro Wrestling Syndicate faces off the home team, Reality of Wrestling. And it looks like Abel Andrew Jackson's going to start it out. It has been an unbelievable month here at the Reality of Wrestling. And what a crescendo we have for you here tonight. Who would have ever thought Abel Andrew Jackson, Ryan Davidson, Rex Andrews, Alex Reigns, and the mysterious Q would stand in the same corner together? Who would have ever thought a rival organization would come into this company no. and cause the chaos that it has? Jackson cover here. First elimination on the way. No, just a two count. Now remember, folks, to win this competition, you have to eliminate every member of the opposing team. Five men have to be pinned to be declared the winner. And the interesting thing, TP, is how will Team Reality of Wrestling work together? We saw the dominance. Cover here from Reigns. Just we, a one count. We saw the dominance of PWS last week on the program. The five of them standing tall and united together. But how can you be united if three out of the five men on Team Reality of Wrestling have had blood feuds with the Mysterious Q? Well, Brad, to answer that question, desperate times call for desperate measures. And when you have to defend your livelihood, your locker room, your home, you will do it. Ever is necessary, and right now Alex Reigns and Fall of Ball going head to head in the middle of the squared circle, and Alex Reigns is no stranger to beasts, I'll tell you that. Oh, wow. But is he used to a power of a mad monster like that? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, my goodness, look at this. This is a moment. Television champion and the big man from PWS. What a massive super athlete is the 500 pound Falaba. And Ryan Davidson loves a fight. And he's got 500 pounds of one right now. Here comes Rex Andrews. The man formerly known as Sergey Volkov has 
has stepped out of the shadows of Team International. He stepped out of the shadows of Gustavo Mendoza. He's created an identity for himself here in the reality of wrestling, and he's done a hell of a job. Abel Andrew Jackson tagged back in, and we got to talk about the tremendous tag team wrestling right now from Team Row. It's amazing. They're cutting the ring in half like true veterans that they are. And here comes our champ, the mysterious Q, in working well, I guess, so seemingly right oh, now. Q cutter! Q cutter, Q -cutter, the cutter at all 500 pounds! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The big Q's going up top. Q going up. No. You know what comes next? 455. Cover. One, two. Get him out of here. The big man's out. Walla Ba has been eliminated by the F-16 of professional wrestling. And that's one man down on Team PWS. Oh, wait. Oh, we thought we were going to see champ versus champ again. But he's tagging in Justin of the Heavenly Bodies, a champion in his own right. And these two are taking it in. Oh! You know, Brad, it's cliche to say, but this is the biggest main event in reality of wrestling history. It is. Between the to, between a team reality of wrestling and what many people believe to be one of the top organizations in professional wrestling, PWS. And we know there's been other organizations taking shots at the row, but PWS has brought it to Cover here Houston. from Abel Andrew Jackson. Huge suplex with just a two count. Listen, take nothing away from Pro Wrestling Syndicate. They're one of the finest organizations of professional wrestling in the world. They have world-class athletes that travel from all over the globe to be a part of PWS. The reality of wrestling extended the olive branch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cover here, two, two and a kick out. And, and the reality of wrestling was stabbed in the back by PWS. That's what happened. We thought it was all going to be friendly competition, DP, but it turns out that PWS had ulterior motives. They they want to come and show the rest of the world, the rest of the nation, that they are the dominant force in professional wrestling, in sports entertainment. And, and, and they've come they've come to the front row of sports entertainment to do it. They're not doing it there. They're not doing it in New Jersey. They're doing it here. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. Super athletes, he's another one. And quick tags in and out from Team PWS. They're really working like a well oil machine, cutting the ring in half, keeping the fresh man in there, making sure Alex Reigns can't get to a tag, systematically breaking the man down. Here's a cover from Dustin of the Heavenly Bodies, too, and a kick out once again from Alex Reigns. They've been planning this for weeks buying tickets here and sitting in the front row at Reality of Wrestling. And then, of course, the brutal attack on the Mysterious Q last week. The locker room spilled out. Booker T and General Manager Charmel made this match here tonight. And here we are. Finally, the score will be settled between Reality of Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Syndicate when we go off the air. But look at the story. Look at Team Reality of Wrestling. You have men who are, are bitter rivals, sworn enemies, like Ryan Davis and the Mysterious Q. We've seen their battles. Q has taken on Abel Andrew Jackson. Sergey Volkov, now known as Rex Andrews. Oh, huge crossbody from the F-16. The Mysterious Q on fire right now. And we're seeing a rematch of sorts from last week. Champion versus champion in the Q ring right now. flies into the corner but misses his mark. <laughs> The intensity is at a fever pitch in our main event here on The Row. And if you're watching it right now, hashtag The Row. Hashtag PWS. Oh. And Mysterious Q in the Cro Croatian assassin, Mario Bacara, taken to the outside. These two are battling all over the arena, Brad. It's an all-out brawl between the two champions. With the, the, count, the count is up to seven, Brad. Q, get back in the ring. Get back in the ring. Both have been eliminated. Mario and Ladies Carl. and gentlemen, both teams have been disqualified. And the mysterious Q have been eliminated. By way of countout. We are down to a four-on-three oh. matchup. The heavyweight champions of both respective companies have been eliminated via countout. They're, They're still fighting on the outside. But inside, we got Alex Reigns and we got Dan Math. Mysterious Q chasing Mario to the back. It is absolutely...
absolute bedlam in here tonight. Knife edge chopped to the back. Look at this monster. But team, reality of wrestling still has the numbers advantage of a damn math picking him up. Gentlemen, Rex Andrews has been right, here's eliminated. Here's Lariat there from Ryan Davidson. It's down to Ryan Davidson and Abel Andrew Jackson versus the reality of wrestling tag team champion. Power slam. Cover two. Oh. Broken up there from Dustin. Who will be the dominant champ, uh, team? Will it be reality of wrestling? Will it be BWS? We know there are other teams out there who wish they were in this match, but one of these two teams will be declared the most dominant force in sports entertainment. The day swing vote. Swing vote. Cover! One, two, Jackson got him! Abel got him! I'll sign up for Abel Care after that one! Justin one half of the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Heavenly Bodies have been eliminated. Uh, one member, one of, the member heavenly of the bodies. Heavenly Bodies has been eliminated. It's down to two on one. Dustin of the Heavenly Bodies versus Abel Andrew Jackson and Ryan Davidson. And you've got to like the odds now, bro. I do. Oh, whoa. Shot, shot, shot. Come on, do this for reality of wrestling. Davidson Driver coming up. They're going to work together. Davidson Driver slash swing boat. Who ever thought they would have seen this? Ryan Davidson and Abel Andrew Pin Jackson. Pin him. Do it for the row. Do it for the row. Ryan Davidson. Looks like he's calling for that bear lariat. Wait a minute. Wait. Who D the hell is this? TP, that's wild. Supreme on them. What is the outcome of this match? Well, we had it won. Reality Wrestling had it won. And now Wildcat has made their presence felt. And Wildcat draping the shirt over Ruthless Ryan Davidson. Oh my God, come on. Somebody put a stop to this. Look, it's Booker T.
this of this of this gang war. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what else to say. This right here, <laughs> this yeah. is the only thing that matters. Yeah. All right? Oh. And we are still your. Listen to we me. We are the wrestling tag champions, baby. <laughs> Pro Wrestling Syndicate PWS. Oh. This is how you do. <sighs> this. You stand. This is how you do. You got a problem. <laughs> 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 